Hey everybody, Grimer here, flying around above the Lost Isle Zoo here on the Zawa Together server. <clears throat> Hopefully you guys are all having a wonderful week. I'm having an alright one. It is, after all, Christmas approaching, so we are going to do a little bit of fun today on the server. Alright, now, what we have going on here is a massive zoo on a tropical island, and that's all well and good. But today we're going to take a little trip, because Maddie and Alyssa, the two admins here on the server, have been very hard at work. <clears throat> Let me get a little air here. Have been very hard at work doing... <laughs> A, uh, uh, hosting a Christmas building event, building contest, all right? And I have not contributed my build yet, and that's going to happen in today's episode. So the goal is to actually, we have our own little plots, and we have to build uh, the thing that we like most about Christmas, all right? That's, that's what we're told. So we got to build it in this little 15 by 15 area. Not a lot of room to do much of that in, but it is worth a challenge. But... Before we get into all of the, like, the details as to what I'm going to be building, we should probably grab the supplies, because I got them all ready, I think. <laughs> I think I have enough ready. And we should head on out to the actual uh, contest itself. It's quite a ways away from here. We're going to be cutting through the nether, so let's get to it. Okay, I should have everything that I need in my end chest, if I did this right. Now, a lot of this is going to take, uh, or this build is going to take pro probably a lot of black wool. And if you're wondering where I got all that black wool from, well, if we hop down here to where my slime farm is and the turkey egg farm is, you'll, or the turkey eggs are being produced, you can see I have a whole lot of black sheep down here. That's where I got all the wool from. So in case you're wondering, that's where I got it from. Lots of grinding out trying to get a lot of this stuff. All right, but without any further ado, let's uh, head on off to where the actual build competition is taking place. Now, there might be some spoilers. Don't worry, it's only spoilers for this episode. You're going to see it later in the episode. I plan on having the judging for this episode, or judging for this build competition, actually, in this episode. So let's get on out there. All right, after a long journey in the nether, I think we're finally here. All right, so this is nestled in the Alps, which I think looks amazing. But okay, so there might be a couple of builds here already, and that's okay. Just, just ignore those. Don't worry. The judges will determine who's the best, all right? Let's see. We actually are going to be having some uh, some guest judges on uh, to do a little bit of uh, critiquing of the builds. Builds here are those carolers? That, the, ah, ah, that, oh my god, my build's going to be crap compared to all these ones. <laughs> all right, so this is my spot that I have picked out here. <laughs> that looks awesome. That looks insanely good. I think those are carolers, like, all singing. <laughs> oh, that is so good. There's a bear over there. Look at this. This looks insane. Oh, that looks like a... Oh, that's just stuff that people are letting me spawn, apparently. All right, yeah, so this looks good. All right, this is my, my plot right here. It's only a 15 by 15 area. Now, you guys are going to be wondering, like, what am I going to be? What's my favorite part of Christmas, all right? Well, this year I've been kind of down, okay? I've been kind of down. Now, nowhere near as festive as like that over there. That's insane. Uh, or that huge Christmas tree. That looks great. Uh, I have not been that festive by any means. Uh, I've been actually rather demure. demure? Is that the word? I've been kind of down. In fact, to be honest, I can't wait for the holidays to be over. So my, <laughs> my favorite part of the Christmas is the end of it. All right? The end of Christmas. That's when my, that's my favorite part. So I think I'm going to be the, uh, the I'm going to be Scrooge this year, literally. That's going to be my build. I'm going to work on building Ebenezer Scrooge. <laughs> so hopefully it turns out all right. I got an idea in mind. I don't know. I don't think it's actually going to win. Not compared to that amazing house back there too. That look, there's so many good stuff. There's reindeer stables back there. It's nighttime. Creepers be creeping. I got to take a nap though. But yeah, I'm going to go with Scrooge. So I'm going to give you guys updates along the way as I do this build. But I do have in here, I have a whole lot of uh, materials I need to build this right here. So hopefully I can get this thing built in one episode because the competition is kind of winding down and I kind of have to hurry up and get this thing built. Okay, a little build update for you guys. Just try to ignore the bouncing carolers back there because they're way more entertaining. <laughs> is that another house back there too? Holy cow. Man, there's chickens all over the place too. There's so much cool stuff here. Are those llamas? I think those are llamas over there. Anyway, sorry. Distracted. All right, so here we go. We got like basically this. Is, oh, there's my sign. There's there's basically supposed to be like the tie and the vest kind of going on right there. Now the next part actually is like right here. Yeah, I might have a neck back a little bit. Um, yeah, this is supposed to be like the the neck of Ebenezer right here, and uh, he's got like a really. Well, I mean, he's been depicted a couple different ways. Uh, he's got a like really bony looking face. And so he's got like a, a really sharp nose and sharp chin kind of jutting out and kind of looks like a grouch constantly because he, you know, he's crabby. 
<laughs> so uh, I'm going to try to go with something like that. Almost like that. I think Jim Carrey did a version of it in an animated version of the the, uh, uh, the old Christmas story. So I'm thinking that I'm going to go off of that one. And it's going to be difficult to make it in just a, like a 15 by 15 area or so. I think this is actually 16 by 16. But uh, getting it to smash in here is going to be a little difficult. So it's going to look a little pixelated-y. But I'm going to try to get the old old geezer's face kind of shape going here and then and then we'll worry about putting a top hat on and everything and maybe throw a bah humbug on it and call it a day boy have i ever told you that i really don't like making organic shapes <sighs> they are a very difficult challenge to do <clears throat> all right so this is supposed to be his lower jaw right there and it's obviously not done yet but from the side maybe you can see let's actually back up this is probably gonna look a lot better when you go far away like out of render distance probably <laughs> all right so there's like his jaw right here and this is his like crooked nose kind of coming down and these are gonna be his cheekbones and that's kind of as far as i got so far I'm, I'm trying to get there i'm trying to work it now from the front does it look better from the oh that 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 panda bear looks amazing <laughs> from the front yeah i mean he's supposed to have like a almost like a skeleton looking face really creepy long gray hair on the sides um it, this could work this could work i'm gonna keep working on it and hopefully in the next progress update uh it'll look even scarier hold on i don't think you guys are part of the uh part of one of the builds could you kindly get out of here please pretty please here you guys want to shoot him please if you could just kind of take him out I'd be much appreciate if you just shoot your leader please to take him get him get him thank you that makes me feel so much better merry christmas merry christmas you guys merry christmas Ah, the Christmas spirit slaughtering the visitors. <laughs> oh, there's still one more back there. You thought you could hide from me? All right. Okay, so is this thing looking absolutely terrifying yet or what? Like, <laughs> let's go do a little flyby and see if this looks all right or bad or what. Uh, yeah. yeah. It kind of <laughs> looks like Herbert the perv the pervert from Family Guy. Hey, you guys like pop? You little boys like popsicles? I got tons of popsicles down in the cellar. <laughs> I used to know a guy in college that would just do that flawlessly. Like, I'm terrified that he might have actually been the guy who did the voice for him for real. Anyway, so we got the eyes put in, so that makes it look horrifying. Uh, but yeah, we got that put in. All right, he's got the eyebrows, and then that part is where the top hat's gonna start coming in here. So that's like the, his hair that's uh in the top hat so i gotta work on the stuff draping down on either side but yeah that's definitely looking like scrooge i'm thinking ebenezer good old ebenezer all right so we gotta do a little bit more work oh it's coming along now scrooge has like these kind of like chops <laughs> that are coming down um yeah he's got like these chops that are kind of coming down right here and i don't exactly remember how i did that on the other side here let me take a peek um, yeah, like this. All right, okay, so it's right underneath his cheekbone kind of thing. Wait, hold on. His cheekbones are kind of different on this side. Hold on. I might have screwed something up. Or, uh, no, no, it didn't. Okay, so it's right underneath the cheekbone, like right here. Yeah, place right there. All right, and then I think it tucks itself back like that. Yep, okay, so yeah, he's got like these kind of chops looking thing. Um, and then what about, uh, what about right above it? So it goes back and then up. Okay. I'm just trying to get it right on both sides because you know he's, he'd make sure that his uh, his chops are even on both sides for sure. So back and then up, just like that. So yeah, like I say, he's kind of got chops coming down on either side of his uh, of his chin there, and then obviously the long drooping hair kind of coming down too, and that's tucked up underneath his uh, his uh, top hat. So yeah, it's coming along. Andesite works pretty good for gray hair. All right, things are finally coming together. Okay, so we got the face done. And we got the eyes put in, and the eyebrows, and the hair actually put in. And I'm thinking this is starting to look like Scrooge. We got the back part of it finished as well. I went ahead and hit the Bad Omen banner inside him, because he's full of bad intention anyway. So I think he's it's just like right in here. Yeah, it's right there. <laughs> so he's full of bad intentions anyway. I should have left all the torches out too, just let a whole bunch of terrible things spawn in there. That would have been even better. Uh, but nah, nah, I'm not going to do that. All right, so now the only thing left really is to get the top hat put on, and then the build part is done except for the Bah Humbug. I'm adding a Bah Humbug above this guy. Okay, with those last couple bits, is that a t is that top hat tall enough? I'm not too sure. Let's get down here at the bottom. It's not too bad. <clears throat> Tell you what, he kind of looks like a Amish guy. <laughs> sort of. Actually, no, he kind of he sort of looks like a Frollo from the night from uh, the Hunchback of Notre Dame. 
I guess that's pretty close, actually, when you think about it. Like the whole, you know, nose and face and, you know, evil looking. Uh, it's kind of close. Yeah. Actually, you know what? This turned out okay. I think that's basically it. I mean, I still gotta get the Bah Humbug above him. But I'm thinking he's pretty close to done. Not too shabby. I, I guess I guessed pretty close to the right amount of material. I have a little bit extra, especially on the white terracotta. I kind of went a little overboard on that. I guessed one block enough of the gray wool. So that was a pretty pretty close guess there. Now, I also do need to get... Um, uh, I'm going to probably use anti-blocks to make the bah humbug above it. Probably green and red, you know, just to get with the Christmas spirit and all. Uh, I'm going to put that right above them, though. I'm thinking that's probably going to be it, then. Obviously, I need to sleep, though, because, you know, what creepers be doing... Okay, so how do we do this anti-block stuff? It's been a while since uh, Rocket Inc., I think, is the last time I actually used this stuff. I want to make the red ones chisel, huh? They're a type of chisel. Red and green I'd like to make. I can't actually do that. Is it just like a base and you just chisel it? Diorite. And glowstone. Accepts any forged stone. Oh, andesite. Okay, well, I mean, diorite. I got a bunch of that that I don't intend on using. So let's go grab some of that. I'm going to need a... Eh, quite a few of this, so I'll, I'll make a couple stack, or like a stack or two. Yeah, maybe a stack or two of this stuff. Alright, let me go grab these ingredients from back at the base and then be right back. Alright, so this totally works. Alright, so we can make the anti-blocks. Now, how do we get them to be red anti-blocks? Do I have a chisel? I do have a chisel, okay. I haven't been using that this much this season. But can I just like, uh... Oh, I can, look at that. I can change them to red. I can cha change them to green. How about them apples? Okay, I made myself some lime green also, because I think uh, if I'm going to put Ba Humbug above him, that's like three lines of stuff, and I want to have a little difference in color for the different types of greens, so... Alright, now that we've got our anti-blocks, let's head on back. Alright, now, if I'm going to be putting this above it, <clears throat> i got to get it kind of centered. Uh, so we're going to go right off his chin and nose, and we're going to go right up there. Now I'm going to have to start with the word bug. Because I'm going to put Bah Hum Bug. Okay, so we're going to start from the bottom and work our way up. I also have to make it a few blocks off of this top hat so that if people are standing here looking at this, they can actually see it up there. So i got to make sure to not put it like right on top of his top hat. But maybe, I don't know, six or seven, six, six or seven, yeah, six. Probably six blocks above it. All right, let me get on up there and see what I can make. So I guess uh, the next shot you're going to see is the grand reveal. Ta-da! All right, bah humbug <laughs> above him. All right, so there's my Ebenezer Scrooge. I think that's basically all I'm going to do for this, too. Hopefully uh, hopefully the judges like it. I don't really know if they're going to, but honestly, I think the, the carolers have my vote <laughs> as far as the best build, followed closely by that panda over there. That one's insane. Although some of these builds look incredible, though. Like, when you look at them, <clears throat> this is insane. This Is this even uh, one of the builds that's in the competition? Is this even in the, the right size? Because this is, looks really cool. This looks like a Maddie build. Okay, Maddie, I'm thinking you build this one. Oh, yeah. Maddie built this one. There's no... <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the, the interior is way too good. This looks incredible. I need to do stuff with this. I don't do anything with the alchemy benches and stuff like that, but I just because I just haven't dove into it. But yeah, this all looks really good. Look at this ice cave. This looks so cool. It was incredible. Nice. All right, I am excited to see it. What the judges think of this? There's also this uh, nice little uh, reindeer pen over here, which I, I'm not sure if these are part of the competition. I think these are just decorative things to be here. And then there's of course this really cool Christmas tree here, which that looks really nice, really well decorated. I wonder if that's somebody's. I mean, I, I, it, it doesn't have a plot around it, so I'm not too sure. So is there really only currently four builds I can see? There's mine, the panda, the ice caves, and then uh, the carolers. So there's not too many builds. So I, I got at least fourth place <laughs> wrapped up here. Go me. High five. All right. Let's cut on over to the judges and see what they think about everyone's builds. So this is our... Um building competition that we're doing uh, it is winter themed and basically we told the people whatever kind of like sparks the holiday festive ideas in you or like whatever your favorite like holiday event is or whatever uh feel free to build it and then we will judge it uh it looks like we've only got a couple entries because obviously people have been really busy it's the holidays 
but uh, we'll definitely walk through and give everyone a good judge. Uh, the winners will be selected by us, which is uh, Tasty, Wyatt, and myself. And then the we will be giving out the prizes afterwards. Would you guys like to go to the left or to the right first? How long go to the right? I think we're all yeah, this, with the jumping... Uh... This, this jumping one. <laughs> <laughs> so I've kind of spoiled this for myself a little bit because I came to, I came to uh, check and see if anyone had even built anything. Uh, and I saw this and I was, I was quite hyped about it. So, Orskull, 12 Days of Minecraft, Wish.com edition. Oh, oh uh, I don't know what Wish.com is, but... <laughs> it, it, it's just a really, like, cheap uh, online thing where you can buy stuff for, like, $2 or whatever. Uh, yeah. And it's, like, like the really those. crappy quality, too. <laughs> I see. Oh, he's so, got a flamingo up there. Like a little flamingo boy. A flamingo in a, par in a pear tree. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, flamingo <laughs> in a pear tree. Ow. And then we've got uh, two turtle doves. Oh my god, they're <laughs> turtle <laughs> Three French that's a, hens. That's, that's, that's cool. <laughs> There's the five golden rings up top. Yeah, I think you the eggs are... supposed to be seven lords a-leaping, but... Or is it oh. twelve lords a-leaping? I think it's... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine... Ten? Ten also, lords leaping? Yeah, oh, yeah, that sounds right. I don't know why I thought it was seven. Um, I'm a little disappointed that we went from five all the way up to however many is however many lo lords are leaping. But otherwise, I think this is a good, pretty good in yeah. uh, iteration. Oh. You oh. can tell it was mainly because he probably ran out of space, though. <laughs> yeah. So, so this is ours. Uh, I shall. I, I'm gonna keep my uh, my first place, second, third, and fourth until like we're done, because obviously I don't want to judge before. Yeah, we should do that afterwards. Uh, so that's. Uh, I actually really Sandra's like that workshop. one. That one doesn't <laughs> count. Uh, this is our next one, I guess. So this is Mad Bulldog Snowy Mountainscape. So I'm guessing, like, with what they've got here, that part of their favorite part of Christmas is just the, the scenery, and maybe like their uh, like the fact that you can go skating and making igloos and whatnot, which I think is pretty cute. Yeah, pretty cute. It, it's it's pretty impressive that they were able to make basically like Ooh. a mountain in their own like little. I think it was only like yeah. 15 by 15. I like the scrafts that they made made as well. Nice yeah. Detail. Yeah, it's it's very detailed, especially for such a small small spot. Landscaping is really hard, like really yeah. hard. So if you manage to put in like an actual very good looking mountain into such a small area, I think that it's pretty commendable actually. But I I, I always got like take have to take way more space when I whenever I landscape something than I actually plan on doing. So yeah, yeah this this has worked out pretty well. Yeah, I like this a lot. Put like a reindeer in there or something. Yeah, like, that was a great effort. Yeah, otherwise, it's great. I like it. You're going to the one in the back, or are you going to hop over to this one? I was trying to parkour up the mountain. But... <laughs> <laughs> so, our next one here looks to be Grimer's Scrooge. I got back up for this one. Of course it's Grimer's. <laughs> <laughs> And it even says above with like, uh, I, actually, I think that those are um, anti blocks. Yeah, they I are. I can't remember Wyatt and I using anti blocks before. Is it the, I think it's the Scrooge based on the uh, on the animated picture, right? I think so, yeah. It looks pretty I, good. I need to go high, apparently. <laughs> Looks at it. it looks it looks really well, not realistic because it's an animated picture, but it looks close to that. <laughs> yeah, honestly, and, and like the the like the bar humbug above it. In Christmas colors as well. <laughs> and then I'm just gonna do like I, I want to do like a little walk around because I uh, honestly like from the side, like coming from the uh, from the portal, I looked at this and I was like, why did he make a witch? Yeah, that's what <laughs> I thought as well at first. 
And then, and then, like as like I backed up and as I as I looked from a different angle, I kind of realized, oh no, this 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 is not a witch. <laughs> and yeah, of course it's Grimer. <laughs> I can say it. He's here. <laughs> <laughs> of, he's of course it's Grimer. He's Grimer picking somehow. Scrooge in for the Christmas spirit. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, you know what he what he could have done? He could have uh, gone on a a, a, a pillager. I, I, are you in this version? I think so. And then just hide it in the screws so it would go every now and then. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that would have been so good. I think we are on to what is our last entry for this. And this one, let's see if there's a name. There's a, there's a picture that says Four Grimer. Oh, wait, there's a sign over here. Oops, oh, it's wrong way. This one's Cinnamons? Yeah. Okay. So we've got like a little Christmas tree. We've got some presents, and we've got a big old panda bear. I really oh. like that panda with a Santa <laughs> hat too. Honestly, like <laughs> that is so well be, made. And I think that like where he placed it, like where he placed his uh, stuff, is also really good because I think the the background really helps add to it a little bit. Yeah, it, it definitely with some of the plots, it's like placements is very important. Since this one has an automatic background, it adds to it. So I this wonder, is for Grimer. Yeah, I wonder if there's the is that, if there's a gifted here. <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna pop into the other one. So yeah, it looks like they're it looks like they are oh, yep, hollow. Yep. So I guess because uh, he was oh. talking about doing gifts look, look, look. for people. Let's, 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 let's. Don't, don't tell me what it is. Grammar is here. It's for Grammar. <laughs> you can't have to open this after we're all done. <laughs> but, uh, detail. Detail. That it's actually present in the present. <laughs> yeah. No, that's great. I like that. I also like the uh, how they made the uh, the hat as well, because fabrics, fabrics are difficult. <laughs> they <laughs> are, that. honestly. Like, on, uh, on other servers, I wanted to make a kind of like that shape, but for like a top of a roof. And holy man, like it's been racking my brain on how to make it. <laughs> yeah, cur curvature, curvatures in general are 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 difficult. Hard in Minecraft. But yeah, especially so like, with fabric, it's <laughs> so like kudos to that. Like, good job, Cinnamon. Yeah, we we can only have, have to go through. <laughs> yeah, we kind of have to go through and like pick what our favorites are. Um, so let's start with you, Tasty. What is your hmm. top, like, what is your absolute favorite out of all all four builds? I think mm, I'm have to say either the landscape or Drymer's uh, Scrooge. <laughs> <laughs> that is fair. I, I'm a sucker for landscapes, so so the, 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 they they play the right card, even though even though they probably didn't know I was judging, and that was my preference. But <laughs> <laughs> what? Um, what is your favorite? You know, as absolutely beautiful as that panda is, I really like the uh, Ten Lords Leaping thing. <laughs> it like, is it's really creative, creative <laughs> yeah. and it adds a lot of life to it. Well, Second if I have to pick either one, yeah, if I have to have, have to pick either one of these as my favorites, then that one is probably third. But I also really like the panda, so it's difficult. <laughs> I really like the the uh, the Twelve Days of Christmas. Mm -hmm. Like that one was probably my favorite, and I really did like the Scrooge uh, by Grammar. So like my top three would probably go Lords, Grammar, Panda. All right, so we have entirely different top threes. That's that's <laughs> gonna be hard for judging. <laughs> <laughs> Wyatt, what's what's your say? You still have two. You're like your second and third, I think. All right, so. Uh... Yeah, so first place is going to be the uh, 12 Days of Christmas. Second place is going to be Panda. Uh, third place is going to be Grimer. And uh, fourth place is going to be the Landscape one. Who would I put in first? Like, I'm not even thinking about the prize at this point. I'm just, like, thinking about, like, the, the amount, like, A, the amount of effort that was put in, and B, like, how, like, on topic it was, right? Uh, if you just take whatever, how we, how we ranked it, basically, then... I think uh, either the 12 days or Grimer wins. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That's kind of what I'm thinking. 
because. And I, I like how we, how I like how we just default to calling Scrooge Grimer. <laughs> <laughs> so it looks like with writing it out because mine was Lords, Grimer, Panda, and then Landscape. Wyatt's was Lords, uh, Panda, Grimer, Landscape, and yours was Landscape, Grimer, Lords, and then Panda. I went through with all of it. It looks like Lords is in first with the uh, most with the higher amount, and then it would be Grimer, and then it would be Panda. The competition was actually really strong for only having four people in it. Yeah, yeah exactly, definitely. right? All right, so Cinnamon, what did you leave me? What is it? No, but my favorite part of Christmas, because it's always so stressful, especially with the kids, is when it's over. That's why I didn't screw it. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, that is fair, though. All right, what did, what did he leave me? Ah, it's a giant panda! Aw, I'm feeling the Christmas spirit now. <laughs> I better tear down my Scrooge. <laughs> oh, you guys were talking about the pillager on the inside? I actually did get attacked by pillagers while I was out here. <laughs> and I was like, oh, that would have been a good idea. But I did put the Bad Omen banner right inside. Oh! <laughs> nice. <laughs> And so there we have it. I had a ton of fun building that, that Scrooge, and I had even more fun actually checking out everyone's builds. Uh, thank you to everyone who actually submitted a build for this. That was a, that was incredible. You guys all are winners in my eyes. If I had diamonds just to shower upon you, I would do that to everybody who entered. <laughs> I really did appreciate the uh, the panda that Cinnamon gave me also in there. So I'm gonna definitely have to be building an exhibit for that guy coming up here pretty soon. So stay tuned for that. Okay, next week we'll be back to building some exhibits. I know this is a little bit of a weird one, but you know, I just wanted to take a little bit of time to celebrate the Christmas spirit and all that other fun jazz. So thank you guys so much for donating your eyeballs and ear holes to this episode of Zawa. Hopefully you enjoyed it. And if you did, please go down and hit that like button. Have yourself a happy holidays and a Merry Christmas. And I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>